Okay, hi. Why do I always clap whenever I start this video? <laughs> Anyways, hi, mabuhay. <laughs> Welcome back to the adventures of Mr. Jubels. And as always, I am Victoria. So as you can see, we're using natural light with the help of my big windows. No lights, not even my vanity lights is switched on. So it's going to be, you guess it right, it's going to be another foundation review and for this time around we're going to use the benefit um hello happy soft blur foundation it does come in like 18 shades and i got number four this was a gift from one of my kiddos oh my god my allergies anyways so if you want to see my review on this stay tuned keep on watching and let's get started Oh my god whenever i start these videos i'm actually like a clutter brain so i already have my oh my god i haven't put my sunscreen on yet where's my sunscreen okay let's talk and do my sunscreen first or shall i put on my sunscreen and then come back i'll put on my sunscreen and let it sit on my face for a few minutes and i'll be back I'm back and I'm shiny, shimmering, yes, because I already put on my sunscreen, I gave it time to actually be absorbed to my skin. And as always, we're going to use the Mario Badescu Facial Aloe Spray, Victoria Stop Talking. Because if you watch, if you watch my other video, like now, I always like... To taste the Mario Badescu but believe me in the morning I don't because I don't usually talk and get ready at the same time I don't feel myself so I do guys I do guys I do hope you like this type of videos wherein I try on or give you reviews using natural lights I think I've shown how it looks like with lights and without like you know because I've always said you don't walk around having lights onto your face so it's better to like show you guys my sponge fell show you guys how it actually looks I don't put on primer because I don't use primer actually because I'm just a lazy bum girl so let's do this 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 it's the benefit hello happy soft blur foundation it does come in 12 shades um it's 49 dollars for 30 ml and i do get like 30 ml i think this is the full size and if you get the 6 ml size in sephora it's like 18 dollars you have to shake it so they do say it has light medium coverage blurs imperfections it has a soft natural matte finish and yeah and it has SPF 15 PA++ which you guys know is not enough so this is how it looks like it's kind of liquidy right so let's put it all over my face and then at the neck this was a gift by one of my students so yeah i think they got my shade right i've been using this for a while now as you know i don't like doing first impressions because it would change um after a while because for foundations any skin products the way it performs actually differ differ <laughs> depends on your if you do use um, primer whether you got the correct primer uh, but for me it would be the final uh, the, the powder the translucent powder because I am a matte girl and I, I'm a matte girl I'm an oily person so I do use powder every time whenever I need to set I set everything because Secondly, 
I don't like to how do you say it I don't blot my face even I don't like to touch up my face all throughout so I rely on heavily on the powdering of my face and of course the foundation so it's easy you can see it easily blended it's just me I just like the pouncing my face <laughs> like dabbing it with a sponge I don't like to use brushes so I don't know actually how to use a brush to put on my foundation I just don't like the feeling of me poking or stippling my face because I do have sensitive skin so this is how it looks like now as you can see it did brighten my face it did blur you can still see some of my um, pores but not so much so let's see the before and after it is lightweight and it does give you a matte finish it did held up held up good I guess so let me finish my base makeup and while I do that go watch all my check-ins that I did for the rest of the week okay so hi guys I just reached home <laughs> I'm tired so this is how the benefit soft blur actually looks like after like 10 hours and I'm using the Cody Spun um, powder so it does look good it didn't break out so much but of course the normal places like here in my nose corner of my nose of course it would break I'm still oily at this side this side so basically the t-zone but at the rest it's I guess it's okay of course some redness so for the first try it's not so bad so I'll see you in my next check-in okay so hi good evening um, so today I'm wearing the Maybelline fit me loose powder and this is how it looks like at the moment so of course it's expected that it's going to be oily on my t-zone and even my chin area but it's not breaking it's not like breaking apart not like the other powders that I actually use so it's good but but it's all but I'm having to have a pimple um, I'm not so sure whether it's because of the foundation or something but yeah so I'll see you again tomorrow bye Okay, hi. So today I'm wearing the Revlon Candid um, Loose Powder. And I think I did it a little bit overboard because it's already like 11 o'clock at night. And this is how it actually looks like. Of course, I'm expecting it to be oily all over my face now. But from afar, I still do look okay. Even though... I think I'm already breaking out at this side I just had a pimple not because of the foundation it's the time of the month so yeah so I'll see you tomorrow again for my next check-in bye okay hi it's Thursday so today I'm wearing the Jeffree Star um, powder and this is how it looks right right now so far it's good it did stay a little bit matte at the perimeter of my face because this side would always be like oily because as you guys know i don't touch up towards uh, all throughout the day and nothing is breaking out like it's staying and it actually look nice yeah so i'll see you tomorrow for my final check-in bye okay hi guys it's Friday and I'm back so for today I'm using the L'Oreal Hydra perfect loose powder and I like because usually this will be the powder that after 
more than 10 hours of wear I would be like an oily mess but I'm not can you see that I'm just like oily like the other days just in my t-zone which is so normal because I don't even touch up I know it's a little bit early it's like only seven o'clock but yeah this is good so that's it for my five day wear test and let's go back to the video okay bye and okay i'm back so this is how it actually looks like i think i went overboard with bronzing my face but because i'm trying some products at the moment and i'm still not sure how i feel about it but if you're interested all the products that i've actually used will be listed in the description box i'm trying to veil some of the bronzer because now with the lights switch on when i can see my bronzer it means that it's kind of heavy which okay victoria let's go back to your final thoughts about where is it where is it okay the benefit hello happy <laughs> the benefit hello lap happy ha happily um soft blur foundation i do like this it i thought it broke me out because i did get like little bits of pimples or breakouts but i'm not so sure whether is it because of this foundation or it's going to be the time of the month i'm not so sure but the pimples that i had didn't last like 41 years on my face after i use where is it my on the spot treatment by um, neutrogena it did disappear the following day so it's okay whether is it lightweight yes it is um I'm not a, again I'm telling you guys I'm not the type of person who actually blots all throughout the day I'm not I'm such a lazy person like that I just like my foundation to be like okay expecting it to wear for like 12 hours because that's how long I usually work or by the time that I reach home I'll be I've been wearing it for 12 hours so yeah I do like it um, oh I forgot to tell you the price oh I did tell you the price is $49 for 130 ml which I think it's 49 Victoria yes it's 49 for 130 ml it's a little bit pricey I think this is have I will I or have I will I buy this um, I don't think so because I do have other foundation that wears or BB cream which is a little bit more affordable than the benefit one but if you don't mind splurging for me $49 for a foundation is already splurging and for 130 ml it is nice it is lightweight you don't feel like you're wearing makeup as you can you could have seen I piled on a lot of things to my face just now and yeah I liked it and it did tolerably made me just oily across my t-zone which is normal again because i don't blot um but it stayed matte all throughout um, my perimeter of my face which is good it didn't highlight any textures at the end of the day it still looked good when you're far away because yeah up close and personal then you would see that it's kind of oily i like this and yeah so that's it let me know in the comment section below if you do like this type of reviews wherein I would be trying a product for one whole week to testing it out with other um, translucent powders or setting powders um, that is actually my go-to and so that I will be able to give you like a full spectrum of like how it actually performs rather than giving you a first impression because first impression for me is like oh i would be loving it like because i was using the correct powder or what are other reasons but if you've been using a product for at least one week straight and then trying it with other products it gives you the perspective of hey do you actually like it if i ran out of this will i buy it no because yeah, as I've said, I do have other BB creams and foundation that is way more affordable but perform as good. Um, yeah, 
so let me know at the comment section below if you like this type of review so I would be I enjoy doing it actually because I would be coming from home then I would be recording myself so it's fun I like it but it does take a little bit longer plus if I'm not in the mood I don't usually record so it would take a few weeks and I don't actually review products it's just been out in the market for like a few weeks. anyways you guys know what I'm saying so I know I'm rambling okay end of the video now Victoria okay so if you like this type of videos Please let me know at the comment section below. Let me know what other products you want me to review. Ask me questions. I love reading your comments. So yeah, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm also quite active there. And I do post a lot of myself. Like more personal things about myself. So, and this, and this. So, ending it. If you like this type of video, please give this video a big thumbs up. And consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos at least at least once a week so till my next adventure please remember to be courageous kind and a blessing to everyone you meet bye